Hi there, it's Graham Mansfield with a quick tip on woodwork for Inventor. I'm going to talk about putting a woodwork inlay onto the top of this panel. A couple of customers have come up with the uh, question of um, that uh, it used to work a certain way in version 6 and version 7 is slightly different. So we're going to take a look. What I need to do is just put in a simple rectangle. So what I'm going to do is put a border onto this panel just to denote a typical sort of inlay style. I'm going to size that up and I'm going to use the split tool to generate the uh, the first cut. So the first cut for the veneer on the top face here using this, the standard inventor split tool. And what we're going to do is going to drop in a uh, simple rectangle again in the inner profile. Let's just put a sketch on that face. And we'll go back to center point rectangle. And again, we're just going to put in a simple um, rectangle here, about 180 by 180 mil. And again, we're going to use the standard inventor split tool to split the in, inner face that we created earlier. What we need to do is generate the mitres in the corner. So looking at the frame here, we're just going to drop in a couple of angle cuts. So you can see uh, the effect that we need. We're having to create these simply because we need to create four separate slithers to apply our materials um, further down the line. So I'm just going to take that profile cut there and apply, and we'll get the mitered shape we're after. So that first slither, and we're going to repeat the process on the opposite side. I guess, of course, we could uh, mirror that cut, sorry, the split. And the last line, just going to place that in position. And again, we're just going to repeat the split on that top face. So the same process for something more complicated would be to generate your geometry and to start splitting faces. And the great thing is you'll get the actual cut sizes that you require. And you can see here, We've just at this moment haven't applied any materials. We've just got the actual oversize, the 300 mil square uh, panel at the moment being reporting in the bomb specification. So let's go ahead and assign some materials. So we're going to go for the veneer and we're going to choose something to contrast. So something a little bit darker. And you can see straight away when I apply the first edge, even though the sort of the faces were being selected straight away, um, everything gets selected. And that's because we have tangent surfaces um, selected here. So as you can see, tangent surface selection mode has been enabled. So that's the new default with the version seven. So what you can do is obviously is you can um, deselect that and put it into single mode. And that's the tip. Once we've got it applied, we can then check our bill of materials again. And the specification is showing us when we expand out that we now have the four separate slithers of, of uh, veneer that we require so that's the perfect size um, so it obviously giving us the uh, 200 by 10 mil size that we require but it may be that you want to oversize that so we can use the um, oversize cover material tool to put maybe a three millimeter extension on all those edges and then again if we repeat that on all the other slithers we'll then get that straight out in the bill of material specification so we'll just do the uh, the next one here, and then what we'll do is we'll just jump ahead to the uh, to the finished article. So there you go, all finished, and just expand out the bill of materials spec, and there you go, everything's been extended to three mil. Job done. Thanks a lot for watching.